If you haven't seen yesterday's vlog, pause this video, click the link down below and watch that vlog. Otherwise, you're gonna be a little bit confused. If you've already seen it, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and continue on. Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. I'm here with Wahida. Hi everyone. So my brother sent me these five questions. That way you guys can get to know her more. But before that, I'll just let her introduce herself. So go ahead. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to meet you all. My name is Wahida. I'm West Indian and I'm from Toronto. And I met Sham a few days ago and I've had a really great time getting to know him and I hope you enjoy the challenge. Alright, so I'm really excited. I don't know these questions because my brother sent them to me. So it's going to be very spontaneous. Well, let's get started. All right, so the first question for both of us is favorite Bollywood movie and why? So for me, I'm West Indian, so we don't actually don't speak Hindi predominantly, but we do watch Hindi movies because a lot of the population is Indian. Um, so I don't know the name, but it's that really famous oh, Shah Rukh Khan. Ah, the one you were telling me earlier. It's uh, Dil Wale Dhaniya Le Jayenge. There you go. Yeah, and the train. <laughs> the and the one where Kajol is running. <laughs> That, yeah, that okay, one so why do you little... like why do you like that movie? Okay, I don't like the romantic type, but that movie kind of stayed with me because I love how dramatic it is. I mean, they meet spontaneously. She's doing her thing, you know, he's doing his thing. Complete opposite people. The bumps and the trials, the things still work out, and it's kind of realistic, but it's Bollywood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's that beautiful like morph in between. That's my favorite one. My favorite one is The Notebook, just because The Notebook is like the classic chick flick that everyone talks about. It's the classic and... Hollywood. Oh chick wait, flick. but it's Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah, so in that case, if I have to come with Bollywood, um, I'd stick with the Dilwale Dilane Le Jayenge. I think that's classic. like the classic. All right, so the next question is, if you had a superpower, what would it be and why? See, if I had a superpower, I'd be Superman because, you know, see the merch kind of looks like Superman. No, but really though, if I had superpower, I mean, I want to be Superman because Superman kind of has everything. You know, if you think of all the superheroes, Superman has everything. And why? Because, I don't know, it'd be awesome because then I can do anything, you know? At any point in time, I can just travel from one place to another. Another, go see family, come back and I mean you kinda have a hair for it. Yeah. Got one little, one little I gotta keep like that. So now you, what superpower would you have and why? Not like taken from your answer, but completely different. No, I actually do Wonder Woman because I really love Wonder Woman. I love her outfit, I love her strong legs, I love like the arms, and I love working out, I love training. Automatically, Wonder Woman. And now that, you know, I'm gonna be hanging out with Wahida, she's gonna help me, motivate me to start Sean Fitness again. Some of you guys know I did promise that I was gonna start Sean Fitness, but I don't know how that happened but we're gonna get back into it and she's promised me that she's gonna be motivating me to go to the gym yeah all right so the next question is what would you look for in a guy or a girl I don't know I'm pretty open I don't really think I have a type I mean tall good-looking I mean nice hair I mean I try to take care of mine but I want somebody with like you know a lot to offer <laughs> it doesn't matter what they do I like a beard I like the little scruff going on I don't care about length but as long as you have it um, beard is the thing the beard you have to have some kind of beard going on I love colored eyes I don't get to meet a lot of people with colored eyes and I have brown eyes I like my eyes but I mean I really love you know green blues I love it I don't really care what they do if they're in business finance, they write, even social media. I mean, I'm okay with dating somebody in social media as well too. Kind of like a YouTuber. Kind of like a YouTuber, yeah. As far for me, what do I look for in a girl? I know this might be a cheesy answer, but I want someone that can really understand me beyond social media, beyond things, you know, someone that I can just open up to. I can just be myself. Because, you know, a lot of times people think that my whole life just revolves around social media, but that's not the case. You know, I do have a personal life. I do a family and stuff. So I really want someone that can fit in and just become part of the family. So she doesn't just take me away from the family, but she really becomes part of it. You know, like she's going to have a good relationship with my parents and everything. And that's something that's important to me and on top of that no matter what I do I just want her to support me whether I'm in social media whether I'm off social media so that's pretty much it my answer seems really shallow <laughs> <laughs> No, but I like your answer because, you know, a lot of people say, I have to ask you this question too. A lot of times we have this argument with people. They say that a guy's beard is like girl's makeup. What do you think about that? Oh, wow. Guys say, oh, you know, like a girl looks different without makeup. And then girls say, if that's the case, then when a guy shaves his beard off, he looks completely different. So do you think that is kind of like the same thing? No, because I think makeup, it complements, you know, no one just puts on a whole, you know, standing in front of the mirror for like three hours, revamping a whole new jawline and chin. And <laughs> Some people look good with a beard people don't. If you use makeup, you're gonna look good if you're enhancing little things. I don't think you could do makeup poorly, um, but I've seen guys do beards poorly. Oh, that like, I'm I leaving. That sounds like... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so question number four. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. What do you think of arranged marriage? 
So I'll start first this time. Arranged marriage is something I never really thought about it. But you know what it is? At the end of the day, if you end up meeting someone, whether it's love, marriage, or arranged, and you end up liking them, I feel like with arranged marriage, you can you know, kind of fall in love. And if it doesn't work out, then I guess... I don't know what I'm saying, but <laughs> I just never truly believed in it. But you know, I'm always open to the idea of it, I guess. Yeah. What do you think? I think there's like a stigma for like a few years, like when you kind of grow up and you think, you know, our parents did arranged marriage. It's a generational gap. Not everyone does, especially in Canada right now. But then you see like all these apps like Tinder and Bumble and all this stuff. And like you're meeting people based on their looks and kind of like a little resume thing. So I mean, I think we're kind of getting towards the arranged marriage line. Saying that I never actually agreed with the arranged marriage. <laughs> I thought it was ridiculous. Like why would you want to just have someone else plan that for you? And then yeah, all this social media stuff came out. And I'm like, this is the same thing. And it's, everyone's busy, everyone's working, school, and it's hard to meet people. And so yeah, I'm up for arranged marriage i have nothing against it whatsoever i'd be open to trying it all right guys so it was a lot of fun doing this little challenge i hope you guys got to know vahida a little bit more i know i learned a few more things about you today we got some stuff out. exactly yeah. so you guys are gonna see her real soon again and she's really excited to meet yeah. team rebel i can't wait tune in next time i'll see you guys tomorrow till next time assalamualaikum beautiful people